In this video, we'll be talking about Listeria monocytogenes infection. Listeria monocytogenes is a bacterial pathogen that is responsible for causing the infection known as listeriosis. It is commonly found in soil, water, and in some animals. Listeriosis primarily affects pregnant women and the newborn can also get the infection from mother during the time of birth. Listeria monocytogenes get transmitted via several mechanisms. First of all, via contaminated food, via unpasteurized dairy products, or from raw meat. Especially, the pr pregnant women are at higher risk of infection via Listeria monocytogenes. And that is not a very uh, pleasant thing during the pregnancy. It can lead to several problems in the fetus. Let's talk about the microbiology of Listeria monocytogenes. These are slender, short, gram-positive rods. They do not form spores like many gram-positive bacteria, and sometimes they occur in diplobacilli format or in short chains. They are avid intracellular parasites. Anyway, as they are gram-positive, in a slide they would stain dark purple. If we talk about the lab diagnosis of mon Listeria monocytogenes, the first pass analysis is gram staining. They should stain dark purple and one can see the clear uh, rod-like structures. And then they would produce small colony with a narrow zone of beta hemolysis in a blood agar plate. Also, they would be catalase positive. Now let's talk about the pathology of Listeria monocytogenes infection. So generally when Listeria invades the body, the macrophages try to engulf them. But Listeria has specific mechanism to evade the macrophage-mediated immunity. First of all, when the Listeria is uh, engulfed in the macrophage, they would create the phagolysosome. But eventually, the phagolysosome would be lysed with the help of Listeriolysin O. Then the bacteria forms a tail of actin cytoskeleton using the cellular actin cytoskeleton of the macrophage and that helps them to propel inside the macrophage and eventually evade from the macrophage and then they can infect another macrophage or circulate in the bloodstream as well. Let's talk about the risk of monocytogenes infection. So generally Listeria monocytogen infection comes from uh, hygiene issues while preparing the food or consuming street food. So in many cases, washing hands and cross-contamination is a big issue. So overall, hygiene has to be good in, in terms of uh, preventing the infection. Now, pregnant women are at higher risk, so they should really be careful about consuming specific vegetables or specific uh, dairy products. They have to ensure that they are pasteurized because non-pasteurized dairy product might be contaminated with many bacteria. Now let's talk about the treatment of the uh, Listeria infection. As it's a bacteria, it can be treated with antibiotics. Antibiotics like ampicillin uh, could be a, a choice for treatment. Other than that, uh, trimethoprim and sulfamethoxazole could be also another option. So prompt diagnosis would ensure the, the quick cure of this particular disease. If it's a pregnant woman, again, the complications could be uh, long-lasting. Now, if listeriosis occurred during pregnancy, it might even affect the fetus even after birth. So that is why the pregnant woman should be very careful about uh, this kind of infection. So this is a quick summary about Listeria monocytogenes infection. If you like our video, give it a quick thumbs up. You can get more flashcards and notes in my Facebook page. Support us using Patreon or Super Thanks. It's a, a icon which is present in the bottom right corner of your video. You can find more notes and flashcards in our uh, Instagram page. Visit it and see you in next video.